Greetings and welcome back everyone to Stardew Valley and of course to Dapper Dell Farm where it is the 7th of winter and it is Caroline's birthday today so we need to get Caroline a gift. Oh there's a new recipe of Queen of Sauce. I am continually surprised by how many new uh, episodes of Queen of Sauce there are. Poppy seed muffin. Poppies make beautiful ornamental flowers but why not make full use of the plant with these delightful muffins. I'm a huge fan of these poppy seeds. They're subtle, but they add a nice flavor and a great texture to bready desserts. And they're healthy. You've learned how to cook poppy seed muffins. Okay, more weather report. It's going to be clear and sunny tomorrow. Perfect weather for the Festival of Ice. The event will take place in the forest starting between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. Don't be late. And a fortune teller. Somewhat annoyed today, but well. Hey, Let's go check in on Gwen. Gwen is sleeping. Very well. I'm looking forward to carving ice sculptures tomorrow. I only get to do it once a year, but it's a lot of fun. Indeed, actually, it is. Carving ice is a great deal of fun. Uh, do, 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 do. Ooh, do I not have... There we go. There we are. Oh, this is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Though I do wish you'd give me something new every now and then. Variety is a spice of life. Uh, duly noted. Okay, I thought it would be fun to send you a letter. I don't really know what to write, though. Here, I enclose a treat for you. Don't tell anyone, but I snagged this from back the back room at Jojo Mart ages ago. Back when they were still running. Oh, I don't know. Can I check out? Tomorrow we're all gathering in front of Marnie's house for the Festival of Ice. It's a celebration of winter. There'll be snowmen, ice sculptures, and an ice fishing competition. Arrive between 9am and 2pm if you'd like to participate. Oh, I will. And hopefully, I will once again beat the fisherman at fishing. Ah, such fun. Yeah. Alright, we need... Oh, my watering can is in here. That is bad times. I'm sorry. Right, well, what we need now, then, is to go and grab some of our produce, and you know what? I fancy... Wow, okay, this day is going to be super amazing for money. I fancy going and practicing my fishing a little bit in preparation of tomorrow's festivities. I think that would be a grand idea, honestly. Uh, yeah, my inventory's getting super mega full now. She's not super mega awesome. Uh, ooh. There's a ring that I want to run there. 5 Iridium, 50 Solar Essence, 50 Void Essence. Well, I can certainly make that happen. Uh, I'm going to need to go and get a bunch, and by a bunch, I really do mean a bunch of bits and bobs from around the town. Mm. Uh, dum -dum -dum. Okay, well, that's not too terribly bad. Let's grab a, a bunch of these. We'll drop... Hmm. I'll just uh, pop that in there for now. So that I can get four of those going. We're actually doing remarkably well with that. Uh, as for Caroline's birthday, I'm going to take an emerald because it matches her hair. And that always seems to be a good way of doing things. Uh, we'll also gobble down some pet poppers. Nom nom nom. There we are. And now plant... Well, not plant, but now make more money. There we are. That is going to be an awful lot of money in five days. And for now, let's go with... Um, hmm... Not sure entirely. I guess we'll go with eggplants. Uh, was there anything up there? No. Come on. There we go. We've actually got a lot of bins, uh, sorry, um, preserved jars and kegs, but I feel that, honestly, with our setup, we do need more. We need a lot more. I suspect it's going to be time to go and grab a lot of stone. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. There we go. Uh, where are we storing these? We're storing them in there. 
Okay, well, I've got pretty much all I wanted to take out of there now. Uh, we'll drop off the sap as well. Okay, we need to head up, drop off the um, produce that we've got. I'm going to need to go to Robin's, buy a load of stone. It's going to be a bit of a long trip, unfortunately. But I need to go into town anyway to give Caroline her birthday gift. So that's fine. Ah, oh, drat, I had the hard on me still. That is a little bit annoying. But we also need to go to the shore, go to Willie's store, and purchase ourselves a little bit of bait so I can practice my fishing today. We'll want to be back with plenty of time though, because I haven't uh, milked the cows or done anything with the chickens. Need a copper bar. Right. Well. Okay. I guess I can do that. Come to Pierre's heated shop. Ah, <laughs> oh, Pierre. You're a marketing genius. Happy birthday, Caroline. You remembered my birthday. Thank you. This is great. You're welcome. Today, I'm just going to relax and think positively. Well done. Uh, I'll say hello to Abigail. Hey. Oh, hello. Remember that drawing I showed you with the orc? I entered it into an online contest and won 50 gold. My god, the contests around here are much better than the ones that I entered in real life. I never won 50 gold for a drawing. I won quite plenty of drawing contests, but never won 50 gold. I even got some of my art in a museum, but... Well, I mean, it's not like it was that good, but, you know, school stuff. It's like, oh, yes. This... Thing for prehistoric. I can't even remember. Oh yeah, it was a, it was about a mammoth e ex uh, exhibit that they were holding or they were setting up. Um, we wanted a copper bar, didn't we? Ah, oh, I meant to go to the beach first. Drat! I got distracted. Copper bar. There we go. And no, we have no stone whatsoever. That is actually quite bad. Okay, Kasha. Well, is the cow pen okay? Yes, the cow pen is okay, so we can let the cows out, at the very least. I mean, realistically, we can actually let the chickens out as well, because they'll all just go back afterwards. So, you know what? We'll take care of our animals first. Thank you very much, Cowlick. Thank you very much, Barney. Avelina? You as well, Abigail, and also got some milk from Umu Kachu. I hate to pick favorites and all that, but Umu Kachu's name is quite possibly the best of the cow names. Large milk there, and oh, Henwen isn't quite at five hearts yet. Don't worry, Henwen, we'll get you there. Now, I don't quite have enough room in my inventory. Are they going to come out? Oh, do they not like coming out? With, I guess they wouldn't really, when you think about it. Well, I mean, hmm, I don't know. I would still want to go out and win it, but I guess I'm not a cow. But, I mean, I, I, I struggle to imagine that cows really have an issue with the warmth, given how big they are. go. I'll deal with the chickens in a little while. First though, off we go. I've done today in a very inefficient way. It's already 1.20 p.m. Ugh. We do have something for Maru though, and we'll be able to check out the town as we go back down through it on our way to the beach, which will likely mean that we'll find Maru somewhere. If she's not at home, she'll be out and about. But most of her regular haunts are just um, in the town square, so. Hey, Robin. Uh, I would like to buy a lot of stone today. In fact, let's do this with Shift Countdown. I don't need super amounts, though. It's only, you know, regular stuff today. Uh, houseplant. I'll always buy houseplants. 
Skull Breeze recipe. Yeah, sure. You know what? <laughs> I like that idea. Uh, that's good enough for me. Is your daughter at home? Hmm. Is she down in the basement, maybe? Oh, wait. There was a basement somewhere, but I have no idea where or if I can even go there regularly. Hey, Sebastian. It's been a while, mate. How are you doing? Sorry to bother you while you're working. I built the snow goon, but Demetrius made me get rid of it. What? Why? What's his problem? Indeed. What a scallywag. Feel free to harvest as much lumber and stone from this area as you please. Uh, thank you. Still, that doesn't make up for you forcing Sebastian to get rid of his stone goon. Ah. Right, there is a no matter here. Has she started showing up in the community centre? Hi, Penny. Is Marrow in here? No. Oh, I'm sorry, did I disturb your privacy? I've been trying to keep our place clean, but it always gets messy again. Well, you know, that's what happens when you live somewhere. No, it's just a, just a wee visit. I don't suppose you've seen Marrow. No, guess not. Hi, Caroline. Ooh, some wiggly worms. I love how I set out with a very specific task, and I have done pretty much everything but that very specific task. Uh, I am my own worst enemy. Ha 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 ha! Maru. Oh, that's exactly what I need to power my latest invention, Avic. Thank you. You're welcome. Guess how sleepy one's gold. Pretty much the exact opposite of me. Right, there we are. Let us be on our way. We need to get to Willie's shop before it closes, but we can't pass up the marvelous man. I really should scrub my floorboards today. I think an algae is starting to form. Ugh. Wow. I mean, I realize that sometimes you are possessed of your need to write, but you should probably clean your house a little bit more often than you do if there's algae forming. I'll be honest with you. Uh, da -dum -dum -dum. Now we'll just go and buy loads of bait. That will do, I think. There we are. Um, oh, actually, I don't have a, a barber. Uh, I could have a dress spinner, I suppose. Sure. Thank you. Okay, well, you know what? I haven't fished out here in a long time. So, why don't we have a bit of a fishing episode? <sighs> I was asked recently if I could explain how to fish, and I've tried, I've even thought of making a, a tutorial, but I think it's, it would be so disingenuous of me, because there's no secret to it. I'm not sure why I find it as easy as I do when other people struggle. I, I just do it. Um... I mean, there are a few little tips that I've mentioned here and there. Uh, for example, trying to keep the fish towards the top end of the fishing bar. Because going up is instantaneous. Going down, it, there's like a little bit of lag. It's almost like gravity is at work. So by keeping it at the top, if the fish goes up, you can immediately start to compensate and chase it with the fishing bar. But if it goes down, and it was towards the bottom of the the fishing bar, the, that is the green bar itself, then the result would be that the fish would start going down straight away, but your fishing bar would not necessarily follow it, even if you took your finger off the left mouse button immediately, which you know would result in you losing a perfect, potentially. Um, there are a few little things here and there, um, for example, with um, getting the treasure boxes. Obviously, with the treasure chests, you want to make sure the fish is relatively high in, in total capture. That is, the green bar along the right is almost full before you try to go for it. Um, uh, unless you've got the trap spinner, uh, sorry, not the trap spinner, uh, the magnet, I think it is, uh, or one of the, sp the spinners, for example, here we are, let me just leave that up there, and I'm choosing to let it go, I lost the perfect as a result of that, but if you've got one of the spinners, then when 
you're on the treasure chest, ooh, fantastic, we've got a replacement, then you will, the fish won't lose any of its progress. Um, there's even some where, I believe, being on the treasure chest actually helps you in the fishing progress as well. I'll have to double check that one. But in those times, you don't have to be as worried about how high the fishing progress is before you start trying to capture the, the treasure chest. Though, there will be times, and I noticed this myself, when the fish and the treasure chest are right next to each other, in those instances, you actually want to try and capture the treasure chest earlier rather than later, because if you wait and the fish's uh, progress is quite high, then if the, the fishing bar is over both the treasure chest and the fish at the same time, and the fish's progress is already reasonably high, then the result can be that you'll end up catching the fish anyway before you've had a chance to get the treasure chest, which is often not quite what you intended. Now, we've got a reasonable collection of fish here. I'm probably being silly trying to get this, but I can always get rid of the holly or even some of the winter forage if I need to make room. Now, you may have noticed that sometimes I lose the perfect right at the beginning because the fish starts at the bottom, and I assume it's going to move up, and so I start moving to try and to keep it within the green bar, but then it moves down right to the bottom, and as a result, I can't actually keep the fish in place. And that kind of comes on to another thing that I can demonstrate there. Oh, we're going to lose the fish. Ooh, that was close. Is that the green bar will bounce. When it hits the bottom or hits the top, it'll be a little bit of a bounce, and that's depend uh, the how much it bounces is dependent heavily on where the fish was in... Uh, sorry, how fast you were moving when you caught the fish. Sorry, am I... Uh, I was a little bit distracted by picking these things up. So, the speed that the fishing bar is moving will dictate how hard it bounces. It makes sense. It, that's actually quite intuitive. Um, but you can get a bobber uh, or a piece of tackle that will greatly reduce the effect of bouncing at the top or the bottom. And if you find that you're losing a lot of things as a result of that, then do consider picking up that particular piece of kit. Because it... For me, it doesn't make that much of a difference, but if you find that in the early stages of, uh, of, of fishing, like you've got a low level on fishing perhaps, and your fishing bar is swinging wildly up and down, that might actually be much more of a, a, an issue for you if you're constantly bashing into the top or the bottom whilst you're chasing the fish. Now, we've got a different set of fish at the moment because it's just turned night time. We should probably head back after this fish, I'm going to say. There we go. Now, there we are. The way I move the fishing bar is I just tap the left mouse button. Um, and that kind of came from games, um, little silly games where you're trying to hover uh, like you've got an aircraft and you're trying to, to hover and collect passengers rather than... Uh, like, if you hold down the left mouse button, it'll provide thrust moving upwards. It's exactly the same minigame in, in a way. And I always found that just tapping the thrust button would give me much more control over my position. Whereas, if you hold it down, the relative speed increases in terms of thrust. Because as you're applying more and more thrust, the, your, your speed increases up to some sort of um, uh, top capacity for speed. More or less the same deal with this. So if you just tap the, the button, I find it much easier to hover. So it gives me a lot more time to try and collect the fish where they are, rather than just bouncing off the top or the bottom of the screen, which, as I mentioned. We'll go ahead and get rid of the seaweed there. We haven't planted our trees yet. Again, a little bit disappointed with that. Um, but that was, overall, a good day of fishing, I think. Now, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to say hello to all of the chickens tonight. And that is my own silly fault. Nope, Steve is sleeping. Can I say hello? Nope. You are not hello-able. Sleepy Joe is sleeping. Some of them will let me greet them even while they appear to be snoozing. But some won't. I'm not sure what the condition is on that. Yeah, there we go. 
No, nope, get Dave's just trying to sleep. Oh well. That'll do then. Good night, chickens and ducks and rabbits. I need to make a bunch of these and fix a bunch of the walls. That one, for example. I do that myself in there. Now, are there things that I need to... Yes, there are actually quite a few things that I need to gather in here. Well, that's not actually the best thing for me right now, I'll be honest. I've kind of not got any room in my inventory. Yeah, drat. Oh well. I'll have to come back and grab those if I have time, once I've got all the mail going. There we are. There we go. Uh, we are going to have to drop off. Is there anything we need to drop off in here? No, actually, there's not. There are geos that I need to drop off in there. And we've got some produce that I can drop off in here. As well, drop off the eggs as well. And take the goat's milk because we're going to need to get more goat's cheese. We've got 20 iridium. That is amazing. Ah, oh, I just need 10 more solar essence. If I'd realized, I would have gone and bought some from Krobus, but it's probably a bit late now to go to Krobus. Uh, well, it isn't, but there's no particular need to have the ring right now, because the ring is generally useful for... Um, going mining, and we're not going to be going mining tonight, or tomorrow for that matter, due to the festival. Well, drat. Again, our inventory is full. I really should eat one of these. Should have eaten one earlier as well. Well, that's a little bit better. I should drop off my cheese, because I'm going to have at least one more trip. Uh, get rid of all of these again. Now, the nice thing is, though, that the cranberries are the ones that are taking up the most room in my inventory right now. Since I get multiples per harvest. Okay, let's just repair this wall. Yeah, get all of these out of my inventory that way. Also accept you. Okay. Slowly putting everything to rights. Ah. Though, I do... There is a part of me that is wondering if maybe I shouldn't go ahead and replace all of the walls with hardwood prior to uploading this save. Because I know so many people in the comments have just been going slowly mad, or actually quickly mad, over the fact that I refuse to do that, despite how much... Uh, annoyance it is having to replace everything all the time. But I like the look of it enough that I'm willing to go through it. But I could, for convenience of those who will be using the save after me, go and replace everything and uh, make sure that it, it isn't going to be quite as annoying for you. Just let me know in the comments if you would prefer me to do that and I will make a point of getting that all set up. Uh, we don't want that. There we go. Let's grab these as well, please. Thank you. Uh, we've got enough time. This should be fine. Not this. Is that? No. No. Okay, well, that's a bit of a shame. But we're going to pop this straight in here and hopefully get something awesome. Uh, as for the wild seeds, no, I can't. That's a shame. Well, we're waiting then. Uh, blackberries, no, I can't put those in there either. I guess we're just waiting. Let's see. Hopefully, we get a decent amount of sweet jam berries from that. Uh, no, we've got no seeds that we need to plant. One or two. Two! Ha ha! Fantastic. Let's go ahead and plant these. Uh, we need one more spot. Fortunately, we can't water it, so that's just going to have to be the way it is. Right, now we need to get to bed in time. We will have to leave everything in our inventory that's in our inventory currently. Because, obviously, 
It is getting very late. Ah, uh, good night, everyone. Wow. Well, let's have a quick look. Not too bad. 1,670 from fishing. Well, that's a reasonable haul, I suppose. 42,000 from everything else, though. That includes a nine star fruit wines, which were 32,000 by themselves. Yeah, okay, that dwarfs the fishing quite a lot. But still, that's almost half of 100,000 in one night. My lord. But that is going to be it for today. In tomorrow's episode, we are going to be going to the festival and hopefully winning the fishing contest once again. I am really hoping that uh, we can get level 10 fishing before winter's end. I'm not sure about combat, but I don't really see there being a reason why we can't get that, considering how much time we have each day now just to do fishing or combat related activities, so hopefully we'll be able to max out our skills prior to the end of this series. But that is going to be it from me. As always, I welcome any feedback you may have or a like on the video. Well, let me know if you want to see more Stardew Valley, including a second series in the future. But until then, do take care, everyone.